Hello friends and welcome to my channel. So Lego has declared three helmets which will be released in March from the Star Wars line and I'm going to look at these helmets uh, from lego.com and going to compare those helmets with the pictures that I have and see how well Lego has actually made these builds close to the original or the real thing. So the three helmets that Lego has declared is the Dark Trooper helmet which is uh, $59.99 and will ship on March 1st. Then there is the Luke Skywalker helmet which is again $59.99 and will release on March 1st and on the same day uh, the Mandalorian helmet $59.99. So let's look at these uh, helmets and let's compare uh, exactly how well the Lego build compares to the original helmets from the shows. Okay so let's start with the Dark Trooper helmet first. So from the box art uh, we can see that it's based on this image or this image is actually featured here. So let's open this up. So this is the helmet that Lego has aimed to make. And uh, personally if you ask me I think they came pretty goddamn close. Uh, if you just uh, let's look at the front face and let's have another picture. And I would say that it's pretty close. I mean there are details here in this helmet which are absolutely spot on the the detail here on the nose is very good uh, then there is this uh, thing that matches here although i think this is a sticker and this grill is, is an actual cut and then the grill uh, on the mouth the mouthpiece grill well again they have used stickers to replicate that but i think if you look at it from a distance i think it will look very good if you if you look at this part from here okay so it's a very good match and this looks just like a shiny helmet what really disappoints me uh, not just for this one but for any of the helmets that lego releases it's that that the head shape is well it's kind of studded well it's a lego and you can't really do anything about it of course you're gonna have studs legos are supposed to have studs well lego did make some studless designs for many other lego sets that they have and i was really hoping that Maybe in 2022, they would somehow make this a studless design one way or the other. The other thing which I think uh, quite doesn't match up is that I, I feel that the head has a bit more uh, curve to it. Whereas this head feels a little bit flat. So there is some kind of like a pixelation effect because it's Lego after all and Lego blocks are sort of blocks. So you can't be that much round but Lego does have some kind of bricks that they can use to make it smooth so you know so i kind of miss the shininess that they have here the shiny top part of the helmet uh, it doesn't really come in this kind of design but if you look at these parts here uh, on the side so the carve is very well matched in in fact i would say that if you just forget the head part rest of the helmet is actually a very very good match so hats off on that lego uh, the second one that they're going to release is the mandalorian helmet now the mandalorian helmet is actually made of beskar it's very shiny it's uh, it's it's almost a perfect helmet if you ask me and again this is where the whole idea of a lego build is just not going to work here especially the way that lego has designed it but look i was saying that you know you can make the helmet uh, round and sort of smooth if you want and that's been proven by the fact that this part of the head is so much smooth and rounded up which is basically this part of the helmet but the other parts on both sides it feels like a pyramid again once again so it doesn't really add to the feel of the shininess of the vest car the rest of the helmet from this part and downwards is a very good match to the original uh, the detail here on both sides uh, the ear part is actually uh, very good it matches up very well and uh, the indentation that is here is also there let's look at it from a different angle so once again uh, if you just consider these parts and these parts, I think Lego is spot on. I mean, yes, there are studs, but it doesn't bother me as much as much as the sort of the pyramid style headpiece actually bothers me because best cards are supposed to be very smooth and very shiny. And this part, it's not even like silver color. It's gray color bricks. So it's a very sharp contrast to the pieces that have been used here. So it doesn't feel like that it's made up of one material. Whereas the entire helmet in Mandalorian is made up of one material. And it gives the effect of being very solid and very strong. So because of these two different color parts, I feel that Lego missed an opportunity. Uh, the different colors are also apparently visible in this part. Even the visor opening is a very good match, I would say. 
it it feels like it's one piece rather than being blocked it's just that i'm bothered by the head piece which feels like a pyramid to me and the last helmet we're going to review today is the luke skywalker red 5 helmet and this is the helmet that i think i was very impressed with and i think this is exactly how it should be of course like the other helmets it does have uh, those sort of blocky pyramid like steps on the head part but because of the presence of these pieces on either side i think that effect is minimalized especially when you look at it from the front uh, of the helmet once again very good detail on the side of the helmet it's a very good match uh the position of the color and stickers in fact i don't think these are stickers at all i think these are originally printed plates so that's very good uh the other thing that i uh, do not like about this is that this logo this piece it should have been much bigger uh and i think that this is one uh detail that i think lego has missed out but apart from that i think it's still a very good match in terms of how it looks and how it feels so comparing the front of the helmet to an actual photograph from the movie we see what a very good match this is a uh, very good uh, selection of pieces uh, from lego uh, to make up the front visor uh, once again uh, i'm a little bit disappointed that it's not that rounded but i guess it should have been rounded and the other thing is they have these pieces inside which if you look from the side make it gives you a feel that that there is actually something going on inside but i'm not very clear from these pictures another great detail is they have the microphone and the chin guard so all in all this looks like a very solid build and a very good uh, one to have in collection uh, from the uh, advertisements that i have seen from lego uh, the helmets feel a bit small i mean i wish it was much bigger so that i could actually put it on my head i think a lot of the star wars fans will actually would have preferred it that way that it came life size so that people can actually put it on their head i think that is one of the lifetime fantasies of a lot of star wars fans but well you know uh, the lego sizes are lego sizes and they have to i think maintain the relative size of all their helmets uh, from the star wars line so they've chosen their size but other than that i think this is the one that people are going to go crazy over right this is the one that people are really going to want to collect and it's going to get sold out very very fast uh really love the box art for this one i think because the mandalorian and the dark trooper are like basically one color are basically very monochrome monotonous color so the box art doesn't really look that good uh, the box art doesn't do justice to the whole set but this helmet is actually very colorful and uh, it really takes your eyes to the details of this helmet so guys that's my review i'm sorry english is not in my first language but i wanted to share some of the feelings that i had when i saw this declaration over at social media and i thought i would just compare these helmets with the original helmets that we've seen in the movie and see how well lego has done to make these uh, helmets come alive in our hand so i hope when it comes to the actual build the build will be fun and the finished lego sets will give a big smile on people's face so see you in another video goodbye